Can cinnamon help your blood sugar? Do I mean the spice or the fragrance? Because it was both when our dog Applesauce ate a cinnamon candle, which also turned out to be a laxative. In a separate video, I cover how cinnamon may improve memory and learning, like remembering to teach your dog not to eat candles. But it also turns out that cinnamon may, one, help insulin better bind to the cells, making it more efficient for glucose to enter the cells from the blood, two, promote the growth of healthy bacteria in the gut that may improve insulin sensitivity, and three, let's not forget its anti-inflammatory properties. So if those possibilities. Another study wondered if cinnamon could help overweight and obese pre-diabetics better control their blood glucose levels. To find out, they gave four grams of Indonesian cinnamon, which is higher in flavonoids than other types, to half of the participants every day for four weeks, while the other half received a placebo. Then, after a two-week washout period, the treatments were reversed for another four weeks. Glucose changes were measured with continuous glucose monitoring, which showed lower glucose levels than either group was taking the cinnamon. But relying on cinnamon alone to control your glucose level is like expecting a single candle to light an entire city. When you factor in all the other dietary and lifestyle choices that can impact blood glucose levels, four grams of cinnamon per day may help, but it won't have as big an impact as eating a healthy diet and being more physically active. So when you hear influencers trying to convince you that eating or avoiding a single food will make a big difference in your life, just remember that they're all cinnamon candles in the wind. Unlike them, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.